Hi Ambernighters! Today I'm going to show you how to brew a very special cup of pu'er tea, one of my favorite teas. As you know, caffeine doesn't work as a standalone for a productivity hack for, for many people because we have different caffeine sensitivities, so uh, teas are actually the ultimate productivity hack by the original biohackers, which were the Chinese, who have been doing this stuff for thousands of years. So today, I'm going to show you how to brew a delicious cup of pu'er tea, which is uh, high in L-theanine, as well as useful flavonoids, and works especially well for late night sessions when you don't want the jitteriness of coffee. So what we're going to start with is a cake of fermented pu'er tea. I brought this cake from China. It's uh, been fermented for 10 years, and uh, an especially smooth, uh, smooth and, and, and mellow quality of this earthy and aromatic tea. So what we're going to do is start by opening the cake and uh, seeing where the corner is a bit looser than the end, the tea is packed pretty tight. So what we're going to do is crunch a bit of the tea from the smooth corner and grab some with a spoon uh, and add, I like to add uh, typically one full spoonful for one, one nice, nice cup of pour tea. What we're going to do next is put it in a teapot, and because the pour tea has been fermented and aged, this is the tea that, that gains, in, gains in value and gains in its taste, we are going to flush it. And to flush it, we'll just pour boiling hot water for a couple of seconds and pour it away. Now you might be thinking that we're losing some valuable tea, but hold on, so this purifies the tea. This uh, makes it uh, makes it uh, open up and washes all the impurities that might gather during the fermentation process. And what we're going to do next is pour some three, two and a half deciliters of water, and have the tea enjoyable in in just a couple of minutes. Enjoy your pour tea, guys, and stay happy, stay healthy.